about three o'clock in the morning, uh, running laser at c oncoming traffic going eastbound on I-70. I uh, ended up clocking a vehicle, exceeding the speed limit at this uh, in this area. I ended up getting getting behind it and started uh, following it, and then started attempting to pull it over. He got off to the shoulder, to right shoulder. It kind of piqued my interest of you know something's funny. Uh, we got about right here, and that's when all the fun started. When he pulled over, he was in front of me. Immediately he got out and had a gun in his hand, a black handled gun. Ran around his vehicle, the front of his vehicle, and jumped down here. He went over and I'd lost sight of him, so I continued chase over and I jumped over the guardrail. I still had my gun drawn on him, trying to give him commands to drop the gun. We came down off the interstate just about right up there. Well, what happened with the riprap rock where we, uh, fell onto, ended up, I ended up bruising my knee really bad. He finally ended up throwing down the gun at that point. We ran onto this street right here, and as we were coming up this, I could see off in the distance, you know, red and blue lights. We got somebody coming at us with his hands in the air, and then noticed the trooper about 40, 50 foot behind him with his gun drawn. The fire truck stopped. I proceeded to jump out of the cab of the truck. I immediately went off gun and then went right on hands on with him. The trooper had grabbed his collar and pulled the individual down to the ground. And that's when uh, four of the firefighters jumped out of the truck and just jumped on top of him. I noticed that two of uh, my men had him up to do along with the state trooper. State trooper Jaron Franklin, Captain Jerry Martin, engineer Danny Smith, Private Andy Kilalea, and Private Tim Harville. Please come to the stage. Firefighters, for your willingness to help apprehend a suspect at risk to your own safety and to help a fellow officer in need, we award you an IFD unit commendation. Uh, this is a perfect case for our, our, you know, being first responders, our jobs do overlap a little bit. The end result, you know, bad guy went to jail and bad guy serving time.